Hello, this is DDK Mystic with a tutorial for Call of Duty Multitude about how to make a puzzle piece effect in Sony Vegas Pro 8. So, yeah, let's begin. So, pretty much the first thing you're going to want to do is find where you want the puzzle piece to take effect. So, then once you get that, you want to find a nice still not blurry picture like that looks bad because it's on draft but see if you put it on best it looks pretty good it's not very blurry so you'll press press save snapshot the file and name it whatever puzzle i don't really care and you find that and you want to drag that right before where your clip happens and then once you've done that, you want to press event pan slash crop right there and go to this little checkbox right here and click it in and press enable. So once you've done that, you want to make sure you have your anchor creation tool and then you want to start masking out parts of the gun. So first I want to guess I want to do like this front frontal half. So yeah. Um, just pick whatever, I guess that looks good. So then you're going to go to position and find. Okay, so you want to make this animate so it looks like it's coming onto the screen. So you're going to want to hold down shift and press one of the arrow keys left, right, up, down, doesn't really matter. And you can even make it like go up and down like come at different angles doesn't really matter so I'll just make this come from the top so then once it's not visible anymore you want to go onto the timeline and drag this little tool and move it to whenever you want that piece to fall down so I'll make it like before a second and you want to right click and press restore so now that's come back and you see a keyframe got created so if you look in the preview you can see it's animated it moves down so you want to do that for each part of the gun and so you just get that same picture again you drag it up here event pan slash crop mask anchor creation tool do the exact same thing. So I'll just pick feather type wolf. Doesn't really matter once again. Okay, so then I'll do position and do the same thing, except I want this to come from the bottom, so just make hold down shift and up key it's also inverted so if you press the up key it's going to go down i don't know about that but it, it's just how it works then i want to put my keyframe and put that right there right click and press restore so it's back and you can see there's the top part we did a second ago so then i'll just do it one more time just to hurry things up and you want to press event pan slash crop Mask, oops, mask, anchor creation tool, and I'll just mask out the dump. Okay, so we have the last part done, and I want to feather that. Let's try it out. That looks good. So I want to go to position and let's move this off the screen. I'm moving it to the left now, all the way over. I can't see it. 
So we go right here, put whenever we want the keyframe to happen, and right click and press restore. So it's back, and we see we have our other two ones we did before. So then pretty much you have everything done. So, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so, and then you're going to notice if you play it, you have everything looking good for the first couple seconds, and then you notice that it's, so everything's playing nice and good, drops down, and then it just stays like that, because that's because the clip, the picture is set to last a little bit longer than it should. So, just use your arrow keys to go through each frame and find right when they're about to connect, right when they're about to connect. It's pretty much right there, so I just want to click on each clip right at that area oops oops that's way too much okay so then you want to hold split do that for each clip split it right at that area split okay and then you want to delete those extra chunks that don't really do anything important and you want to move your video clip over so now if you look at it, if it goes, okay, if it didn't lag up, oh, I'm on best, that's probably why, hold on, let's put this on draft, okay, there we go, still not looking good, but yeah, so you kind of get the point, so then we want to move the clip that the puzzle pieces are actually going to happen on, so... I'll just take this little 360 right here. And, and this is important. You want to make it so it's under the pictures. See how the pictures are on top of the video clip? So if you watch in the preview screen, got my little 360, and then they start to come on. You can't tell because this hypercam is laggy as hell. But so that's pretty much it. And then you're going to want, you can add effects, like flashes and transitions and everything, just to make it look good, sync it with some music. So that's it. Subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks.